The best parts about visiting Lake Placid is you never know which Olympians might be walking the streets. And if you visited Friday, you might have run into some of the top sliders in the world. That's where NBC 5's Jack Main was spending the evening at the U.S. Luge HQ, where athletes were gearing up for the upcoming season. Gearing up for the Luge World Cup in the Adirondacks, where today 22 athletes from America's upcoming World Cup team competed in the starting championships here in Lake Placid. Now, this is not a traditional luge track. In fact, from where I'm standing, it's maybe only 100 yards to the other end of the building, which means the athletes that slide here can only focus on the most crucial part of their event. I'm like bobsled and skeleton. We're the only one that we start seated and we use our arms as legs. And so this is a competition where we only go start to start. And the athletes are using this as a gauge to see where they are against each other. It's not entirely accurate because they're where they are in their physical training, but it gives them an idea. Today's championship was mostly for bragging rights and a little bit of cash as the athletes transition from summer training to the upcoming World Cup season. I mean, it was great for me and Zach to uh, be able to come out here and win. It was a close race, closer than we would have liked, but it was nice to be pushed by these younger guys, and that just makes us all better in the end. The athletes will focus their attention on Europe in the next couple of months to continue training, and some exciting news to come out of today's events. This December, the Luge World Cup will return to the Olympic Village for the first time since 2019, and when it does, it will be the first World Cup event of the upcoming 2023-2024 season. In Lake Placid, Jack Maine, NBC5 News.